Ready to fight. Ready. All right, we're back at Eddie Hot Arena in Abu Dhabi. As many of you know, this has become a very special building and destination for UFC athletes. Back in the day, it was Fight Island. Now it's just Abu Dhabi, but special nonetheless. Oh, another one. Oh, big knee to the body, man alive. He's hurting him bad, man. That right hook is nasty. does a great job of getting that leg kick to the target. Oh, nice slip there to avoid the punch by Joban. Oh, he blasted the kick to the midsection right there. Got it right below that elbow guard. And on the other side, if you're the boxer, maybe need to lower that guard a little bit more. Well, you're at kicking range and not boxing range. So as he's landing damage, the boxer can't reach him with the punches. It's beautiful, and it shows how hard they work in building this game plan and this approach that has allowed for them to jump out in front. Liver kick. All right, so a big early land by the boxer. He put a lot of steam on that one as he's able to get that hook home, DC. He lands it perfect. I mean, he throws it perfect. Right hand is always where it needs to be. If he throws it with the right, the left hand's always where it needs to be. It's tight, it's crisp, and it lands with a lot of power. Nice hook on my Oh! And just misses with that big right hand. Nicely done to the body. Just over three minutes to go round one. Oh, punches in bunches as he lands another combination there. Really doing a nice job stringing his shots together. He's doing a great job of stringing the shots together and also just mixing up the target and the attacks. Great job finding different places for his strikes to land. Well, he rocked him, but couldn't finish it. He rocked him. Another one! Big right hand. An uppercut landed. Now we're going. And that's, that's the danger in the engagement there. Oh. Joe Ban going for the body, targeting that area with the kick, but unable to land. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high. Blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Well, it looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the eye area. Yeah, it looks like that strike opened up a cut, John, but it's nothing to worry about now, but he's got to start to protect it. Under two minutes in the first round. Oh, well-timed and placed overhand by Choban. When he gets close and he throws, he lands. Masvidal in a real flow here, sticking and moving. Crowd is like just reacting every time he moves. Masvidal now has the crowd eating out of his hands. The one thing about Jorge that makes him so difficult to deal with is he never allows you to trap him. You think you got him trapped to try to hit the forward takedown? He evades and escape. He's a phenomenal fighter. Oh, big shot lands. Pretty good position here with the single collar in the clinch. Now he gets a more dominant position with the underhook. He is going to start to drive these over and over. You got to be careful here. You got to move. All right, so perhaps he's going to have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he got cut on the eye from that last strike. He's got to pay attention now before it gets worse. Oh, you talk about mixing the martial arts. Perfect strategy here. Effective jab there by Joban. Back to the jab now, no good. Masvidal's now dealing with a cheat cut. Perfect execution on that tee. 20 seconds to go in round one. Waning seconds here of this opening round. Oh, that's a big hook 
to the chin. Oh, Second God. round straight ahead. All right, so the round is over. You see, obviously, the fighter has a cut on his cheek sustained in that round, but better to be below the eye than above it. The cut man is in there trying to close it up. Well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish, but if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. Ready to fight? Ready. All right, round two. This crowd is going sick after what they saw in that previous round. Truly an all-out brawl. Several moments on both sides, and the fight is still going on. Incredible. Great moments by both of these fighters. Let's see who can continue down the path and really try and finish this fight. Joe Ban's cheek looks like it's cut here, starting to bleed a little bit now. Pretty good execution for him there on the sidekick, DC. Just really feeling himself. One of those traditional martial arts techniques that are making their way to the UFC's octagon. Oh, that's a big right hand there from Game Bread. Boxing fundamentals. Oh! Just misses with that one. Nice crack there. Now going upstairs with the left hook. Oh, and another strike landed flush by Gamebrick. There's the kick. Oh, head kick blocked by Jorge Gamebrick Masvidal. Head kick attempt, unable to find the target. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Pretty good strike there, but not a ton of meat on the bone. Kind of looks like... He's hurt again! Just over three minutes now to go in round two. Well, not much set up behind it. The right hook misses. Just out of range with that right hand. Well, we got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the TV. But every time that area gets targeted, that cut is getting worse and closer, theoretically, to the end of the fight. Yeah, and, you know, when you got a person like this in front of you that is so good at what they do, when you are bleeding like this and the work is showing, you got to try to find a way to stop him. He needs to try to get a takedown or something because the more he's standing, the more he's going to have to deal with this cut and now all the blood that's coming from the cut. Masvidal's pretty swollen now in that jaw area. It doesn't appear to be affecting him all that much, but he's absorbed a lot of strikes to the head. Got to figure out a way to raise the guard and be more defensively sound. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class. Hands up, chin down. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Oh! Back to his feet. What a fight. Joe Band's doing a nice job there raising the guard to protect the eye with that block. You can't allow that cut to get worse as this fight continues. Jeez, you can hear that. <laughs> well, this fight's been pretty crazy thus far. Both guys doling out a lot of damage, and neither... Oh, he got hit again. Just out of range with the big right hand. Less than a minute to go in the round. Right, breathe and relax, man. Breathe and relax, okay? Let's work on setting that up a little bit better this time. And... Oh! 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 Yeah, 
I mean, you got to be kidding me with that knockout. If that is not the number one play on Sports Center tonight, I'm not sure what would top it. One of the best knockouts we've seen all year. In a very long time, I have not seen someone look this good. He promised us something, and he delivered with that beautiful knockout. Here is Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 14 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Jorge Game Red Masvidal.